If you're doing your FTMO challenge right now, or if you're thinking about starting one, I highly suggest you watch till the end of this video because I'm gonna give you three tips that will tweak your mindset going into the challenge and will help you make it a lot less, less stressful and more enjoyable. So yeah, make sure you stay till the end of this video and let's get right into it. So for the last couple of days I've been actually living in the basement because we had some guests from Germany over here. But now I'm back in the lab, so I'm watching the shorts and I will see if we get any setups. If we do, I will show you the trades and hopefully we can pass the FTMO challenge today. So we didn't reach our supply zone and no trades in there, but we made a new range so we broke that low and now we're working with this supply zone so I'm looking for a confirm in here to take price lower. So yeah, I'll show you if I get any trades. So I'm actually going to the gym with my friend now in the video, but before I go, I want to share with you the first thing you should know before taking your FTMO challenge or before you start to actually trade live on your account. This applies to everything in trading, so make sure you take notes on this. So the first thing you should know is that when you actually start to place live trades on a demo account or whatever you choose to do, is that it's really different from when you backtest especially handling the drawdown because when you backtest you always end the session with a result whether that is net positive or minus one or break even you see the bigger picture and the end results but what you don't see is the time it would take to get to that end results and all the trades you had to take and how long it actually would have taken in real life and not in the simulated uh, environment so for example you might have taken like 10 trades on your backtesting session you had like plus five percent for example but you don't see the times when you were actually down negative on your account overall and maybe you would have been down four out of the five actual trading days you would have taken those trades on when you backtest you only see that it was profitable you don't realize that you would actually be down negative four days but then the last day you would end up in profit that's one thing i learned from my mentor anton also is that you don't always need or you don't always gonna be at the like all time high on your account you're gonna get to your all time high then you're gonna start to drop slowly like decreasing the account and just take some losses and break evens but then if you just stick to your edge and keep executing whether it's in a week's time or the next month you will eventually get up to even higher highs on your account but the tricky part is to convince your mind that you're actually doing the right thing even though you're losing money on the account and not always increasing the account size. But you have to learn how to handle these drawdown periods because if you don't you will get emotionally and you will start to over trade or revenge trade on your actually live account or your FTMO challenge. You saw me take two losses before in this video, so now I'm not at my all-time highs anymore. Now I'm starting to lose a bit of capital of my account, so now it's really important for me to implement the first thing I told you in this video. Just zooming out and seeing the bigger picture and not getting too focused on trade by trade basis. So instead I have to think about 10-20 trades in the future and 
I know if I stick to the edge I will be profitable so but that takes me into the second tip of this video which is you have to adjust your risk management for the challenge maybe you're risking 1% per trade and maybe you're targeting 1 to 3 per trade and if that's the case you would have to win not three but four trades in a row and we all know that's not the most likely for any strategy especially if you're targeting one to three but in my case i target one to five every trade i risk one percent per trade so i would have to win two trades in a row in order for me to pass the challenge and make 10 percent but for me i was happy risking two percent per trade uh, to get the chance to pass it in one trade so i don't have to win multiple trades and that's a risk i was willing to take and i was accepting that i might blow one or two ftmo challenges which i've actually done in the past i take i took two challenges and failed them both not because of the actual risk management but because i didn't really have a strategy that i had tested for hundreds of trades and a strategy that i was feeling comfortable with and that i had trust in confidence comes from repetition so you have to have a strategy you've tested and know for a fact it's profitable because i didn't have the trust and confidence in my strategy at the time i eventually started to act emotionally and over trade over risking on the trades so i blow two of the challenges but on this third one i upper my risk per trade but i was accepting the fact that i might not pass this one challenge and that's okay for me so the point is that you need to have your strategy in place and you need to know exactly how much you would have to risk in order for you to maybe pass it in one or two trades but if you risk your normal amount, it would take maybe four or five wins for you to pass the challenge. Just be confident in your system and play around with the numbers to see what percentage risk would be best for you to maybe pass it in one or two trades. Because you're on a time restriction. But yeah, you might want to hire the risk per trade and risk losing one or two challenges for you to actually be able to pass it easier. And if you stick to your strategy, it shouldn't be a that big of a problem because in the worst case you will just get a retry and then you can try to pass it the next month instead Got burned, but I learned Our scars make us who we are Now I'm ten feet tall over my demons I know you want to jump straight into the challenge and get founded and start to earn money off trading but the last thing you should know before taking your FTMO challenge is that you need to have a clear strategy in place and you need to have actual data backing that strategy up because otherwise it's no point in taking the challenge you might get lucky and actually pass the challenge the first or second try but if you do you will eventually lose that account maybe you get founded and get one payout but you will eventually lose that account and also the money you made from that account you will lose because you will spend it on new challenges where you will just waste your time and money because you don't have a clear actual system that you can follow and if you don't have a system you won't make it because the psychology is just too hard and you will second guess every decision you take in the markets do yourself a favor and just test a system and come up with a plan that you can follow because otherwise you will have such a huge headache trying to guess when's the best times to get into a trade and when's the right time to exit a trade and if you exit a trade and the trade eventually goes a lot more in your favor you will get angry and start to revenge trade because you missed out on some money and if you don't take the trade you will FOMO into a trade and it will just be a fucking fiesta so don't do it man I took down this when we had the guests from Germany, but 
now I put them up again because I really like the reminder of what I'm working towards and what I want to achieve in the future. If you want to achieve something, you really have to obsess over that goal and constantly keep reminding your mind what it's working toward. If you keep feeding your brain with this one goal, it's automatically gonna make it important to you and automatically gonna help you achieve it. If you're not uh, reminded of it, you will not think about it when you make your everyday decisions and when you try to reflect on what's really important to you, what actions you need to prioritize. It's the first thing I see when I wake up in the mornings and also when I'm working, I see it constantly, constantly reminds me of what I'm working towards and it's funny to see other people's reactions to these posts because they feel like it's kind of impossible but if you know you can achieve it you will achieve it it's really not that hard I took them down because I didn't want to explain for the guests what I was what I was doing it's interesting seeing my family also kind of adapting to this belief and I think they're starting to realize that it's actually possible but the first time my mom saw this she was kind of making fun of it and didn't believe it was possible at all before if it was like 99 to 1 percent uh, of her believing it now it's more 80 20 i would say but if you just keep working and show them that you're working really hard and that you actually believe you can do it they will eventually start to support you and and see how it how important this is to you our brains is the most powerful technology on this earth by far so it's really cool to see what we can achieve if we just take control over it and that's what i'm doing with these notes i also have it as my lock lock screen on my phone so i'm constantly reminded of it tens or hundreds of times per day and we're making it come true yeah, I'm